wow, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Do you mind if I share with you guys a little bit about Islam? Please. Yeah, yeah. So Islam simply means submission to Almighty God. Right? He died on the cross for your sin. He was buried and raised on the third day. He Sebagaimana kita tahu, sebuah laporan tahun 2017 oleh Pau Research Center menunjukkan bahwa umat Islam adalah kelompok agama dengan pertumbuhan tercepat di dunia. Hal ini memproyeksikan Islam akan mengalahkan Kristen sebagai agama terbesar di dunia. Conrad Hackett of the Pew Research Center summarized the main headline that Islam is currently the fastest growing faith in the world. Persaingan dua agama ini memiliki metode yang berbeda dalam menarik orang-orang ke dalam agamanya. Tentu saja ini akan mempengaruhi jumlah pertumbuhan populasi kedua agama. Pada video kali ini, kita akan saksikan bagaimana metode dakwah Islam dan metode penginjilan Kristen yang sering kita saksikan di kanal-kanal Youtube mereka. Ini adalah pendeta Sarah dan dua orang penginjil yang sedang mewartakan Bibel di tengah kota Yerusalem dengan mayoritas pemeluknya beragama Yahudi. Metode mereka adalah dengan berkhotbah menggunakan megafon. Megafon portable paling banyak digunakan misionaris dalam penginjilan. Apakah megafon akan membantu mereka menarik minat orang-orang terhadap Kristen? Mari kita saksikan. Beberapa anak-anak dan pejalan kaki sepertinya terganggu dengan suara megafon mereka. Bahkan salah satu pejalan kaki terlihat membuang ludah ke arah mereka. Sepertinya bukan saja karena faktor megafon yang mengganggu orang-orang, tetapi mungkin karena faktor keyakinan Yahudi yang sangat menolak Yesus sebagai Mesias. We talk about this, no? Go, go. We're going. Oh, wow, that sounds like a good idea. Do you mind if I share with you guys a little bit about Islam? Please. Yeah, yeah. So Islam simply means submission to Almighty God, right? A Muslim means a person. Selanjutnya kita beralih ke Abdul Wahab, seorang pendakwah Muslim yang aktif menyebarkan Islam dengan metode bold dan Al Quran gratisnya. Setiap hari Minggu, Wahab tidak pernah melewatkan untuk mendakwahkan Islam di San Francisco, Amerika dengan mayoritas pemeluknya beragama Kristen. Setidaknya itu adalah data yang dikeluarkan Paul Research Center. 
Nice to meet you, absolutely. Here you go. I would love to offer you a prayer mat as well. Everything's 100% free. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, absolutely, take care. All, um, this is all free gifts that I have for you guys, right? So this is the final revelation of the Holy Quran. And these are prayer mats from the holiest uh, city on earth, which is Mecca. Mecca? Mecca, yeah, yeah. What's your guys' names? Um, I'm Anna. Okay, cool. My name is Wahab. What's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie. Okay, Wahab. Pleasure to meet you guys. Do you mind if I offer you guys some free gifts? Oh, I wouldn't mind. Okay, beautiful. Well, this is for you, my dear sister. Here you go. Thank you. And this is for you. Thank you. Yeah. And absolutely, and you guys could feel free to grab whatever you like as well. Are you uh, sure? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I got this all for you guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank if you. I have other colors too, if you guys, you know, I have another pink one. I don't know if you guys like pink. Would you want to get matching pink with me? I think. Okay. Oh, wow, that sounds like a good idea. Do you mind if I share with you guys a little bit about Islam? Please. Yeah, yeah. So Islam simply means submission to Almighty God, right? A Muslim means a person who submits their will to Almighty God. It's very, very simple. In Islam, we believe that there's only one creator, and only that creator is worthy of worship, right? That he sent many prophets and many, many messengers, right? And they all came with the same message, to worship the creator alone. Very, very, very simple. Do you guys believe that there's only one creator? Sure. I mean, I mean, what, what's your guys' current beliefs right now? I don't know. I'm just. You're trying to figure it out. I'm trying to, you know, make my way in this world. Okay, you know? beautiful, beautiful. Well, you know, honestly, that is a beautiful book. The Quran simply means the reminder. So this is a guide for all of humanity. So you're gonna find so many interesting things in that book. So this is actually the original book in Arabic, right? And then it's translated into English. Right. So in, in Arabic, we read it from right to left. Right. We read it this way, from right to left. And English is left to right. Oh, that's trippy. It, it, yeah, that is trippy, right? That is trippy. Do you mind if I share with you a few verses, if that's okay with you guys? Um, yeah, I have time for one. Okay, cool. So as Muslims, we actually memorize the whole book, so I don't even need to look at it, right? Check this out. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا so that's the original, right? In the original Arabic. And now I'm going to read you the translation, right? So what I said, right, is in the name of the Almighty Creator, the most compassionate, the most merciful. All praise is for the Almighty Creator, the Lord of all worlds. Not just this world, but He created many worlds. This is just one of them, right? So He is the most compassionate, the most merciful, the master of the Day of Judgment. You alone we worship. You alone we ask for help. Guide us along the straight path, the path that you have blessed, the path of those you have blessed, not those that you are displeased with, or those who are astray. So it's just simply a prayer of guidance. You guys have any questions, my dear sisters? I don't think so. Okay, Thank you. beautiful. I appreciate you guys coming. I appreciate you guys coming. Have a wonderful day, okay? Take care. For you some free gifts, my dear sister. Sure. Okay, absolutely. Here is the Holy Quran, the I final revelation. Absolutely. Well, now you have one. Wonderful. Yeah, actually, I would love to offer you a free prayer mat as well. Everything on this table is 100% free, my dear sister. But what, what do I have to do? Oh, no, you don't have to do anything. So this is all from the holy city of Mecca, right? So this is a bag. Inside is a prayer mat, right? Used for meditation. Oh, yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. So you just you sit down, you meditate, right? And you think about your creator. Very, very simple, my dear sister. Yeah. Yeah, this is for you. Whatever color you like. Th um, this, is the, this is the only colors I have left, unfortunately. I love it. They took... Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah, 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 no problem, no problem. Yeah, so. Can I put this in there? Yeah, absolutely. I think it'll be a lot easier. I'll go. I'll go ahead and help you with that. All right. I mean, to drop it. No, no, no problem, no problem, no okay. problem. Do you mind if I share with you a little bit about Islam? Go ahead. Yeah, Islam simply means. I watch a lot of documentaries. Okay, so. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Me too, me too. Love so Islam it. simply means submission to Almighty God, right? right? A Muslim is a person who submits their will to Almighty God, right? What's your current belief right now, yeah. my dear sister? Dari kedua video ini, semoga kita bisa melihat salah satu faktor Islam menjadi agama dengan pertumbuhan tercepat di dunia. Tanpa pengeras suara dan cara-cara kekerasan lainnya, begitu mudahnya orang-orang terbuka untuk menerima dakwah Islam. Karena dakwah Islam disampaikan dengan senyum dan penuh kedamaian.